Brian Schreiner from Kingston. Good evening. I gave you all a uh, pamphlet referencing the Hotel Sterling in the Annex. Over two weeks ago, a call was made to 911 and then the Minnesota Police Department reporting that children were in the Annex and on the roof of the Hotel Sterling. Now, weeks later, the only result is that the pics are down from Facebook. The city has done a haphazard job of securing the buildings. I approached the chamber, and they avoided me like the plague. All I wanted them to do was get a hold of the current owner of the annex and have them secure the building, knowing that the chamber would talk to me. I would have expected that from the former uh, director of the chamber, not the current one. At least the former one had the name Hyde in his name. But as yet, no one from the chambers had, had the decency to call me back. <coughs> I contacted the attorney of record for the purchase of the entrance. As you can see in the uh, material there, part of the mortgage is there. His name is Brian Stahl from Bergen, Kluger, and Quinn. He was more interested in who I was, and then he hung up on me. The Sterling is still wide open. The city did some of the boarding on both places, but around the Market Street side of the building, because no one bothered to walk around it, it's wide open. It needs to be boarded up, it needs to be secured. And it especially needs to be secured now until the demolition takes place because you're going to have people coming to see if there's anything left in the building to try and take souvenirs or whatever. The building is dangerous. When you're looking for developers, if there are people to come in there and, and see, get uh, estimates to tear the place down, it was reported there were people that wouldn't go up to the top. <coughs> These are people that were uh, doing this as a, a career, tearing down buildings, and they were afraid to go through because it was unsafe. We put concrete barriers, and all this done is aggravating the noise. And as far as I'm concerned, it's nothing more than a political ploy to hurry the demolition of this building to the tune of $5,000 a month. But when it comes to putting plywood and other necessities to safeguard human life, it seems to be too expensive. City Best has income. LAZ parking is charging $45 a month, $3 a day for cars to park there. Put a lien against them. Take the money if that's what you need to secure these buildings. Go after the current owner. Go after the chamber. As you can see in the mortgage, they are responsible also for maintaining the good repair of this building until something can be done. You want the county to help? in the demolition of this building, would you people need to help the residents of this county, and especially the children, and make sure they're safe. Thank you.